Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. It's going to be a different kind of video that I usually do, but this is um, nine albums that got me into music, into metal music. Um, and that have introduced me into various kinds of metal. So, start off with Papa Roach with uh, Getting Away With Murder. Um, yeah, some people will... Um, say that the song Scars is their best emo song but for me um, I listen to the song Sometimes and Do or Die those were amazing songs for me to listen in the in back in the day for me um, next one up is Lamb of God with Ashes of the Wake um, especially that song Ashes of the Wake the instrumental song and the song One Gun and Omerta were my favorites of this one. Then Lordy with the Rockalypse. Uh, I guess everybody knows this band by winning the Eurovision Song Festival in 2006 uh, with that song Hard Rock Hallelujah. But that one wasn't my um, to go to song. On this album, it was Super Monsters and Who's Your Daddy that were my uh, songs to listen to. Then, my first introduction to pretty much death metal, and it was actually a Dutch local band, and it was Death or Dead in Decadence. And this is a melodic uh, death metal band from, I believe, Harlem. Or Alkmaar and this has a special uh, place in my heart because that one was my actually my first underground uh, metal CD that I've ever bought and I got that sticker a long long time ago of the band's logo <coughs> they don't exist anymore but yeah fuck it uh, then actually a album and that isn't metal, but it is Fort Minor. It is rap music with the rising tide. Um, I was listening to this for an insane amount of times. And especially the song uh, Remember the Name. Like, everybody knows that song. Uh, but also the song High Road and Kenji were really amazing on this one. Then my first introduction to Iron Maiden was, of course, their self-titled. Uh, no especially one song from this, but I, if I have to choose, it'll be the Phantom of the Opera. Um, yeah, Iron Maiden uh, was the first album that I've listened to it continuously uh, over and over again. And this was an amazing song when I was uh, playing games and stuff like that. Just putting it on um, repeat in the back then Green Day with American Idiots um, I actually bought this album twice because I once lost it at a airport in an airport at I believe Rome I believe so I bought this for the second time and again this whole album is a youth sentiment for me I believe it's how you call it in English. And it was actually my first gig that I've ever went to. Uh, was a Green Day gig. Uh, if I had to choose a song. It, it'll be the last three songs. Uh, Wake Me Up When September Ends. Homecoming and What's Her Name. And then my first introduction to new Metal. Or yeah, Rap Metal or something like that. Is Element 80 with their self titled one, I believe. Uh, from front to the back, this one has been on repeat numerous times. Uh, the song Bloodshot, uh, Texas Cries, and Parachute were amazing to listen to, and then, uh, I'm really happy that I've managed to find a copy of this one. But the next one uh, has my most played song ever. Um, on it and it is Rob Zombie with um now with Educated Horses and the song is American Witch. 
Um, when back in the day I had a small iPod, you could see how many times I've listened to this song. I was putting it on repeat and I knew every single note, every single lyric of that song from the top of my head. And I kid you not, I think I've listened over it for 700 times and it was my to go to song and later on I uh, discovered the whole album and it is a masterpiece in my opinion and it is Rob Zombie's best CD that he has ever brought out in my opinion. So um, I hope you like this video and gives a little bit more insight about my starting to listen to metal CDs and yeah I hope this uh, will get a thread and other people will show it as well so uh, yeah I guess I'll see you next video bye bye